So many people have just compulsions of eating. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, you know, yeah. they're done eating one meal, they go to the next. It's just like, how do we eradicate or cure this epidemic? Yeah, it's, well, it's multifactorial. And I think it's going to need a strategy because everybody's relationship with food is a little bit different. And people go to food, you know, different food sources for different reasons, right? People have different palates. There's an inclusion and an exclusion criteria when you get people to go in a clinical trial. And some people are so carb addicted that you cannot convince them the, of this eating strategy. Now, is that so because that, their glucose is constantly running high and they're getting these these ups and downs? Or is that just like a psychological dopamine thing? Is it probably both? Yeah, I think it's, again, it's multifactorial. I think that people do have a glucose addiction and that, you know, spiking of glucose, like as you said, releases dopamine. It releases a lot of feel-good hormones. It's also tightly linked to our early eating patterns in childhood. And then those patterns kind of set the stage for how we eat as an adult. And I think Think that those patterns are really hard to break. So you're addiction of Halloween for all yeah. American kids to be going out and getting pillowcases yeah. full of sugar. Yep. <laughs> so in the low carb keto community, there's like a knee jerk reaction to being very anti GLP one. But I actually think that a GLP one is a drug that can be used as a behavioral tool. Sure. Dietary therapy doesn't work and you're coaching them and you know it's just not working. A GLP-1 coupled with a continuous glucose monitor too, which may, may not even be needed, but these are two behavioral tools that will give the person uh, feedback.